What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about how Bungie is deciding to remove power limits from Legacy Gear. In other words, they're not really going to be sunsetting things anymore. And this is something the community has always wanted and something I've talked about here in several videos saying I wish they would remove sunsetting completely. And it looks like we're finally going to get that. Um, of course, I did make one video talking about how the new fire team power will work. If you have not watched that, definitely check that out because this kind of goes hand in hand with that why they decided to do this. This is one problem that they encountered during uh, design of the fire team power idea, which kind of in short allows you to play with anyone anytime. And the highest power level person in that group will kind of be the group leader. Uh, and then all the other players, if they're a lower power level, will be brought up to within five points of that person. So, for example, for right now, uh, you know, if you were 1830 in a group and everyone else was lower level than you by a lot, everyone will be brought up to 1825. That's pretty much how uh, the fire team power is going to work. But they said they had an issue uh, after they decided to, you know, make the, you know, kind of new fire team power idea. They said the adjusted power shared by the power leader would sidestep the caps of uh, pretty much old power limited items, making it possible to ignore them. After thoroughly considering the problem space, we came to the decision to remove power limits from all items starting in the final shape. Always being able to play with your friends was a huge goal for them. As they close out the light and darkness saga, they want to rally all guardians, active, returning, and new to help fight the witness. And there's no better way to play Destiny than with your fire team. As they pursued this goal, it became apparent that power limits were fundamentally incompatible with a fire team. We understand that many old uh, power limited items have been dismantled by this point. And that was the first thing that I thought of when I saw this was, wow, they're going to not have sunset gear anymore. And I have deleted a lot of it because as you all know, we all like to keep a lot of stuff in Destiny 2. And I'm the same and I've gotten rid of a lot of this stuff because it's been so many years of collecting it and I you know, knew it got sunset. I was like, well, there's really no need to keep this anymore. And unfortunately, now that I have dismantled that, they have uh, actually taken the sunset off of items. But it says, as we regret, we have no recovery mechanism for those. Going forward, we intend to reintroduce sources of most or all of these, updated to modern Destiny sandbox standards with added properties such as origin traits and bill crafting perks, as we started to do with the Brave Arsenal and Destiny 2 into the light. So they're going to start bringing back all of these old sunsetted items with new updated perks. So pretty much, like they said, with the Brave Arsenal items, all of these items are going to come back once again with new updated things. But if you're lucky enough to keep some of these great God rolls from a long time ago, you will still be able to use those going forward and they will actually be useful. This is, in my opinion, really big news for the game in general um, that has been one really big glaring issue that a lot of people have had with destiny over the years is Bungie always sunsetting things you would get some great cool items and then of course you know you try to you make some bills that kind of stuff uh, then later down the road Bungie would actually remove that item from the game and you'd kind of have to start over with a different you know different weapons and things like that and some of the fan favorite weapons, of course, were Sunset. I understand at times uh, a lot of those were Sunset because they're pretty much breaking the game. But I think Bungie right now really doesn't care. I think they're trying to break the game. I think they're trying to let players play with whoever they want, whenever they want, and however they want. And that is a really big thing in my opinion. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these uh, you know, old weapons being removed, you know, kind of removing that power limit from that legacy gear. I think this is a great idea. I wish they would have done it sooner before I deleted all my stuff. But anyway, looks like we're still going to be able to get all that old gear back, you know, eventually in the game with new roles and things on them. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.